completely stopped. I just checked the GPS to get over to the river is where I'm going. And to get over that way, it is going to take 54 minutes and that is way too long to be able to do this. So I'm hoping there's some kind of highway turnaround. I made a mistake by missing the one back there. All right guys, so I did it for the first time. I somehow got on the other side of the highway. I don't know how that happened. I mean, it was a nice grassy patch in the middle. I wonder how that was possible. But we are back on the road and I checked the GPS again and it literally said an hour and 10 minutes just to drive what should be about a 10 minute drive. So there was no way I was gonna do that at all. There's no way I was about to sit there. I have places to be. Obviously, if I didn't have somewhere to go, I would just sit there and wait. Look at that, it's awful. Yep, you have the right idea there, man. Turn around. Oh, look at that, man. I already love those new Tundras with that orange color. And look at those XD wheels on it. Absolutely beautiful, man. I didn't think I'd ever say beautiful to a Toyota, but that is a good and a nice truck. I don't know if those are Toyos, but they may be the uh, cheap, cheap off-brand on Turos. I'm not sure. <laughs> What's going on? Off, dude. Look at this truck, dude. I washed it and now look what it looks like. Oh man. So this is why I'm just gonna go to get food. So. Come on, man. Look at this. No, this. Yeah, it looks like Shike and crashed it. No, I didn't, dude. You fing crashed it. She was doing the nuisance job. No, that's definitely a lie. Then what happened? How is that from tree that's not from a tree <laughs> then what happened you hit somebody when it was snowing out dude it was the nuisance job bro no it was the ice and snow on the road what somebody from your class yeah all right so let's go get food dude they're close at 2 30 remember and it's 2 10. are okay. you serious yes oh gosh we tell you this i tell you this every oh time. gosh and you're always fucking making a goddamn video dude come on oh, chill Oh my gosh! Hey guys, what is up? Back here with the Silverado. As you can see, the sun is almost completely down. And yeah, the reason being is because I accidentally left my keys in the truck. Mike said, let's go get food. I had my backpack and I always put my keys in there and I threw it in there, locked it, and that was that. So now I'm back here about two hours later. Sun's going down, it's freezing. And right here, I'm with the bad coolant. So try to check it out over here. I'm gonna open it up and see if you can see what it looks like in there. I don't know if you can see anything, but well, let's see. Yeah, it's just brown brown sludge in there for some reason, I have no idea why. All right, so it looks pretty good on the, on the inside now that I shook it up for a while, so I don't know what the deal is here, but I'm gonna get a second opinion from Vance Auto. That's definitely where I bought it from. I know I bought a lot from Napa, but they closed when I needed some more. So I ended up going to 
advanced auto to get some and that's where that came from so i don't know how long he was sitting maybe it's really old i have no idea but we're going to go get a second opinion on that after i get some fuel i'm also freezing out here today i don't think we'll be able to see where i actually cross the highway through the grass it'd be cool to see that maybe another day we'll be able to spot that out maybe tomorrow but as for today yeah it's getting dark so let's get on the road and then we're gonna have to take care of this coming somehow let's go again oh got the keys can't lock all of them out of the truck let's go there on the left side probably about a mile I don't know I don't know maybe a half mile I have no idea but I just saw my tracks and there was a cop now that is where I crossed so it's pretty cool and it is, at, it is actually a lot brighter in this video than it is in real life look how bright that is it's nice All right, we're here at BJ's about to get some gas and this is gonna be cringy everyone's probably gonna look over can you see the other people in there over there yeah let's see if they look over Let's go. I'm here at the late at night BJ's. Come check it out. Fill the entire tank. We're running out of time though. It's about, what is it over there? I think 285 or something. Something gas is going up. I don't know why. Usually it goes down during the winter time, but that is obviously not the case here today. So about to fill the entire tank up. It's it's freezing outside today, but I think we'll be good to go. And then we're going to run to Advance Auto and see what they have to say about this. I'm going to have to really get a good opinion on this one. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely freezing outside. So if you guys are watching this video, try to turn up the heat a bit for me. I'm freezing out here and we got a long way to go because that number up there is probably going to be about 60 and that down there is probably going to be about 22, 23 and as you can see it's taking a while. Don't mind those stink bugs in there. Ooh. They're even in there too. Oh, excuse me, it's actually 280. So you may not believe this uh, and I'm talking to you. Um, the Ford that we checked out, do you remember that at the auto show? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Ford there actually had 34 inch tires on its stock. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, Mike did the calculation because Sam thought it was 31s or something, which is ridiculous. There's no way it was that small. I said 33 and I thought it was 33. Remember I told you it was 33 because that's that's actually a standard thing. But apparently that had the four wheel drive package with the winter package on it or something. And apparently with that package, it comes with a 34 inch tire stock stock. Wow. 34 is stock. That's huge. And it's well, it's still not a 12.5, which is the big thing. 33, 12.5, 35, 12.5. But still, to have a truck come stock with a 34-inch tire is still really, really ridiculous. So we just ran over 60 bucks on the tank. I'm just going to have to finish this up. It's probably going to be 65. That is sad. That is just a lot of money. Big mud tires about to waste it down a day. All right. All right, guys, so we just went to Auto Advance Auto Parts, and they said they were pretty certain, pretty darn certain, that oil or something else was mixed in there. They thought, there was no way they thought that that was just regular coolant, and I think I did buy it there a couple months ago, but there's no way they would have given me a refund night. They were, they were dead on certain that I mixed something in there, but I don't think that's possible at all. I don't remember ever doing that. I would have never put something else deliberately in there, or even water. I wouldn't have mixed anything in there. I think it was pre-diluted 50-50 anyway, maybe not, but still, that's that's kind of ridiculous to me that, that that is what happened, I don't know, it looks horrible in there, it's sludgy, it's brown, they said it's not the color it should be, I should not use it, so it's good that I got a second opinion, because now I'm not going to use that, I actually was thinking about it before, so I guess I'm just going to have to go get some new one, new coolant, and get rid of that, I guess, it's no other option.
So what's up guys, we finally made it home and I'm sorry about that, it's it's all late and everything now and they obviously said that the coolant cannot be used because they said it's some mix was in, I don't know. So I'm gonna hopefully get to the Cummins tomorrow and those tires as well, I mean, this is ridiculous, this is dragging on, I'm sorry about that guys, kinda sucks that this, this lock has just been terrible lately, I don't know, I hope it picks up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe so I can see you next video, until next time, take it easy.